So it must, uh, the anticipation of the fight must be really getting to you now, only uh, just over a week to go. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's really, it's really bringing the buzz around the place. Yeah, just seeing the lads that I'm going to be fighting, and it's just bringing more atmosphere to it now. You know, it's getting out of the gym and getting up here now, and you know, it's really putting me in the buzz for it. Yeah. And uh, have you been here before? I mean, it's such a beautiful landmark. No, I was never here before. This is a long way from where I'm from, but um, yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest, there's a huge prize at stake, isn't there? Not just the £32,000, but two great undercard shots as well. Um, what is motivating you for, this, for the win? Uh, to be honest, Morton, the, the, the thing that's Morton motivating me the most is to get to the top. Do you know, money, money isn't the biggest thing. Um, obviously, it'd be nice to get to 32000 but the most important thing is to, is to further my career and get to the highest level possible, and, and that's where I want to be. You know, I have a, an absolutely brilliant team behind me. Uh, my coach is John Walder and Fintan Glynn and my strength and conditioning coach Joe Clifford and I have a good manager in Mario O'Sullivan. So I have a great team behind me, you know, so I'm, I'm really going to give it everything I have and, and hope to get to the top. I mean, the, it has been touted as the, possibly the best prize fight lineup ever. Um, what, what's your opinion on that? Definitely. I've watched, I, I'd say i probably watched all the prize fighters and it's definitely probably the best one in it. You know, usually there's one or two that you know aren't going to win it. But in this prize fighter, definitely every single one of the eight in it have a shot at this, without a doubt, yeah. And um, what, do you think a pri what do you think the prize fighter winner, or even just someone that puts in a great performance, can expect to do in the future? I think it's a big stepping stone to, to move on to bigger and better things, you know. Um, you know it, publicly, it's very good to be fighting live on Sky. Um, it's really getting yourself out there on the world stage. And, uh, you know... To win prize fight, putting in a good performance, uh, I'm not even going to think about putting in a good performance. All I'm thinking about is winning it. And um, you've only won on points in your professional career. Um, do you think this is an issue for you, a prize fighter, or, or, or do you think you can over, overcome that and get through? No, not at all. No, that's that's not an issue at all. You know, um, I know my own power. I know that I can hit. I know I can box, and I know I can fight if I have to as well. So, I'm 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 really prepared for whatever you know whatever. Whatever I have to do in the ring, I'm prepared to do it. I've, I've the work put in now for the last 10 weeks. I'm ready to fight whatever way I have to fight. You're one of the uh, equally most inexperienced guys in the competition. Do you think this is a help or a hindrance? Because you could potentially be a surprise package. I'm one of the most inexperienced as a professional, yeah, but I'm far from inexperienced. You know, I'm, I'm in this game since I've been seven years of age. I started boxing when I was seven years of age when my dad brought me to the club. So, you know, I've been boxing like 15, 16 years now and, and I've boxed amateur level at a very high level, you know, so I might be inexperienced without a head guard and a vest, but I'm far from inexperienced. And uh, lots of online forums wanted you to fight in prize fighter. Why do you think you had so much uh, support before, before you even picked? I think a lot of people know that I'm, I'm a dark horse in this and that I can do very well in this. You know, I have a good amateur career behind me. Um, do you know, I have a big following behind me in Roscommon as well. There's, there hasn't been a professional boxer in Roscommon in over 100 years. So I'm the first since that. So people are really getting behind me. Do you know, and they want to see me do well. Talk to me a bit about Jim Coffey, the, uh, f the, the first and so far until you, the only professional boxer from Roscommon. Would it, w w is it big boots to fill? Of course it is, yeah. Do you know, obviously I don't know an awful lot about him. I know he was European champion um, in Roscommon with, with the older generation, like the likes of my own father. Do you know, he was a living legend back then, and um, he actually was only from not far from where I live. So, you know, it'd be nice. It's nice to be the second professional boxer from Roscommon, yeah. And if I can do half what he's done, I'll be happy. And have you been doing any special training ahead of the uh, free, free rounds of three minutes um, format of Prize Fighter? No, no, I've just stuck to my own basic training. Do you know, I've concentrated on myself, haven't concentrated on anybody else. And uh, to be honest, I'm just ready. I'm ready for whatever, whatever, whatever comes. I'm ready for it. And obviously, this is the Betfair prize fighter. Um, do, you, do you think people will be fools to be betting on you, or is it good investment for the future? Uh, if they have a handy tenor lying around, they should throw it on. Top man, thank you very much. Thank you.